Pisces, some of you, your uh, your addictions are being revealed. Your hangups are being revealed. Or these are the things that have been revealed. You, you seem to be still dealing with some limitations and some restrictions. Um, there could be something that's going on with you, Pisces, that has been leading to, you know, a certain amount of self-undoing because that's what Pisces represents. And I think you may be more willing to look at and move forward and act on some information that you may be getting cosmically about these things that bind you. Maybe with this eclipse that we're having coming up in Pisces, um, there may be something that is moved out of your life and you know, something that's going on with you in your personal life to help you deal with what the devil card represents having Pluto in the sign of Capricorn Pisces because Pluto moves so slowly and Pluto you know is definitely about uh, obsessions and addictions and you know things that we hide from other people uh, you know it's the deep dark areas of life it's ruled by your sister sign of Scorpio um, these these things that I'm talking about are really nothing new because Pluto moves so slowly, so these are the types of things that are going to be introduced into our lives wherever Pluto is uh, transiting in our astrological charts. These are things that are going to be happening for a long time to come. So the message that I'm delivering right now, Pisces, I know really isn't news to you. Some of you, I know, have been dealing uh, off and on with whatever... Um, these limitations are whatever these restraints are Pisces you've been dealing with that for a while and I'm feeling like like where some of you because I actually remember some of the readings that I've done over the past uh, I guess the past seven months and we've talked about this before and I feel like maybe where some of you had gotten a handle on these issues they've resurfaced in the mercury position and the mercury positions talking about our communications um it's how we think about things it's how we process information of course it is how uh we dialogue with other people you know it it, it, it shows us the tone of how we do it and it also shows us the method so whether that be by uh, phone call text message social media whether you send somebody a letter uh honey whether you shout out of your bedroom window all of these things are ruled by the sign of mercury those are the things that mercury represents it also represents what is going on you know in your short distance travels you know generally the things that you do day to day it talks about your siblings it talks about your grade school you know primary school childhood friends in the mercury position we have the queen of cups the queen of cups came up in the mercury position for aquarius as well very interesting because these eclipses we're wrapping up the eclipses in your sign pisces uh but i was just telling aquarius that now these uh these eclipses are going to be um that energy is shifting now to that leo aquarius back and forth that duality that you know opposition 
So, like Aquarius, you have the Queen of Cups in the Mercury position. So, Pisces, this could be, you know, this could be like somebody that you might be a bit addicted to. Maybe this is what this devil card is, is saying that um, maybe you're coming to an understanding and ready to act on something because you could be emotionally uh, psychologically even addicted to this queen of cups this queen of cups is cancer scorpio or possibly another pisces and it doesn't have to be this could possibly be on their moon or rising sign or they could have heavy water in their charts but you know like this is, is somebody who it's like I was telling Aquarius, it's like somebody, I think, somebody you're struggling to understand. That's not what I said to Aquarius, actually. I said that this person was out of, seemed to be out of their reach. But for you, I'm feeling like that this Queen of Cups is somebody that you are trying to understand. And you're having a hard go of it. And I kind of feel like, too, Pisces, that the more you struggle to understand them, the more obsessed with this person that you may become. There is a mystery about her. I feel like that is driving you insane. Now, let's give this the opportunity for this to be the other way around. This could be somebody, a uh, childhood friend, somebody that you have, you know, kind of um, um, gotten on with, you know, for a long time now. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of feeling like... You've been, there's been some kind of communication between you and this, this Queen of Cups in the past. I feel like there's been some good conversations, you know, some happy times between you and this Queen of Cups. But, you know, I'm, I'm feeling like there's been some sort of drifting away. And for some of you, Pisces, I feel like this is something that's really eating at you. And the more that this Queen of Cups seems to be out of your reach, the more trouble, like I said, you feel like you have understanding this Queen of Cups. I feel like that there's something that's brewing inside of you. But whatever it is, I kind of feel like it's really strong and that it you feel restricted by it. You feel trapped by it almost. And I don't know, Pisces, if you really understood that that's what that was at first. And this is for those of you who are dealing in relationships. You may be coming to an understanding that this particular relationship has more of an effect on you than you initially thought. And you may be wanting, or you may have been, observing, you know, those details, those facts, and I don't know, maybe you're, maybe you're ready to say something about it to the Queen of Cups. Let's see what's in the Venus position. Venus is going to talk about our, our significant other, you know, it's about somebody we could be dating, attracted to. It talks about how we want to give or receive love. It talks about the things that um, make us comfortable, not in the same way as the moon. It's like the things that we're attracted to, you know, the things that we like that are pretty, you know, that, like I said, that we're, we're attracted to. It's about our creative expression. Okay, and Venus 
is in it's in retrograde season it's going to retrograde next month this is the four of coins reversed in the venus position so i feel like there has been some limitations put around a relationship pisces that you may have been in or for those of you who may be struggling again with some sort of addiction some sort of uh, something that you rely on and you know that could be anything um whether it's something that is directly taking money out of your pocket out of your bank account whether it is something that keeps you from doing what you need to do in order to earn more money you know i feel like it's something pisces that you need to conquer because it's having an effect on for some of you this is having a direct effect on your money your resources For others of you, this could be a situation where maybe uh, there's a relationship. I, I feel like some of you Pisces feel like this, this Queen of Cups is getting away. You feel like you may be losing what you used to have with this person or maybe that they they feel that way about you maybe it seems like that there was something that was that was there that is not there anymore or you know is not going to be there anymore and this may be what this eclipse the solar eclipse in pisces is removing because i you know for those of you that this is a relationship thing. I feel like this is a very, uh, very karmic relationship. And, you know, Pisces, I feel like that this is probably something, like I said, that you've been dealing with with this person for quite some time now. And it may have been on and off. But, you know, it, it really may be time to wrap up that karmic cycle. And... You know, I hate to say it, Pisces, but I think that maybe, maybe, and, and we shall see, but maybe, I'm sorry, I'm having to adjust myself. You, you know, maybe you were not actually in the present moment in this relationship maybe you were in your own world you know you know where pisces spends his time maybe you were escaping and these things have come to your attention and so now um this information is kind of like it, it it suddenly dawned on you um and, and 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 now what used to be there is not there anymore but Pisces there may be a need to just let it be maybe that it is at its karmic end whatever whatever it is between you and this person you know it just may be time to wrap up the cycle now let me say that that doesn't necessarily mean that you're wrapping up the entire relationship there may be an aspect of that relationship you know that was significant that is really changing in a dramatic way or, or going away somehow you know for instance maybe some of you were boyfriend and girlfriend and you lived together and while you're not breaking up, you have made the decision to um, not live together anymore. So, you know, it doesn't have to be the entire end of a relationship. But I feel like there's some things that are definitely going to change that are going to be moved out of your life of, you know, because it's time for it to happen. You know, it's time for it to happen. So keeping that in mind.
in the Mars position, and this is going to talk about our desires, our pat where we put our passions toward, how we move. It talks about pent up. Uh, it talks about aggression or hostility. It talks about our um, uh, sexual drive. We've got the Queen of Coins reversed. The Queen of Coins could be somebody, Taurus, Virgo. Or Capricorn or this could be energies that you are projecting this could be somebody who is putting a lot of time into making themselves look good or into making their surroundings look good this could be somebody who's putting a lot of time and energy into trying to nurture somebody who doesn't want to be nurtured The other thing is, Pisces, for those of you who are dealing with something that is having a direct effect on your money, I feel like it's having a direct effect to, it's like whatever it is that you are putting your money towards it could be taken away from what's going on in your home and i guess that's kind of logical you know if, if for whatever reason you're having issues with your resources or your money then you know it makes sense that it's going to uh, you know take money out of your home pisces i just wonder if you know If this is something that you are doing, then there's definitely a need for you to look at changing directions, changing what you are really making an effort to spend your money on. And, you know, again, you know, I see shopping addictions, you know what I'm saying? This certainly doesn't have to be drugs or alcohol. With the Queen of Coins reversed, this definitely talks about somebody who may be beautifying the home, but they are spending way too much money doing it. You know, you could be making some renovations and things like that, and it is totally breaking the bank. The other thing is, Venus is about to go into retrograde, and I told this to... I may have told this to one of the other signs earlier on because I did the other signs earlier. But if anybody is having or considering having any cosmetic surgery, in my opinion, if anything is going on above the neck, I would wait. I, I'm, I'm talking dentistry. I'm talking anything that is going on above the neck, on that head. Um... It, it's like I'm I'm feeling like this is this is saying to to hold off on that wait until um, Venus it goes direct and preferably is out of shadow even when it goes direct um, and I think that is I'm sorry I'm not gonna lie about the date but I think Venus stays retrograde for about four months like I'm really talking about if you're planning on having something going on and it's just like I'll give you an example my son is uh, possibly going to have some surgery it's not a big you know a big big deal on his eyes but I'm not I'm not letting it happen until Venus goes back direct you know I've scheduled his appointments out because I don't want any uh, even in his evaluations, I don't want there to be any mistakes made about what could possibly be wrong with his eyes and whether or not he really needs his surgery. And I'm certainly not going to let anybody uh, make any alterations to him until uh, Venus goes direct and is out of shadow. So, you know, these type things. This, this, this doesn't 
necessarily have to be, um, you know, this big old deal, like, you know, it has seen as I've gone along. These could be mundane things, but with these eclipses happening, you know, I do want to say be prepared. I do want to say be a little extra careful because eclipses can be heavy energy. You know, it can be kind of difficult to deal with sometimes. So, you know, I feel like if you are, in fact, prepared, Pisces, that you can make things, you know, a lot easier as, as we go through wrapping up your um, eclipse time. So now in the Jupiter position, which is the traditional ruler of your sign, and Jupiter is currently in retrograde, Jupiter talks about spirituality, it's the ruler of Pisces, you know, it's about optimism, it's about higher consciousness, higher learning, um, and since it also rules Sagittarius, which, which rules the ninth house, this could be about long distance travels, this could be about um, uh, foreign cultures, so let's see what we got. We've got the Six of Swords. And this is a Mercury and Aquarius energy card. Six of Swords in the Jupiter position. Um, it's saying that Pisces, there's an answer. There's an answer. And it may be something that you are not thinking of. But there's an answer to, um, there's some sort of solution. And, you know, it's kind of like strike while the iron is hot. And you may not see what that solution is yet. And it may be because your, uh, your traditional ruling sign is retrograded. So whatever these things are that are going on here with the devil card, and uh, with this four of coins reversed and possibly this queen of coins, there is a solution that is going to come up for you. Uh, there's something that's, you know, you're going to learn something. Something's going to come up for you. You're going to come across some information that is going to help you transcend above whatever difficulties you may be having. And this may be coming from for you when, when you have this eclipse in your sign you know you may be starting to feel this stuff already so um and especially as jupiter starts to go back direct and jupiter went retrograde i want to say on the ninth of this month and it goes direct again in june so you know these things may not happen overnight and you know with the eclipses i know that the lunar eclipse can last, you know, I just want to be safe and say those energies can last about six months and then solar eclipse, um, I know about a year, but I've heard people say that these things can be going on for up to three years. You know, for me personally, I'm uncomfortable with that wide of a gap. So I like to look at lunar eclipses for, you know, uh, whatever those things are, are about to come from those. I see that as having a, um, a time frame of six months to a year from that lunar eclipse. And I see solar eclipses as being, you know, a year. And I, yeah, I guess up to three years. I don't know. I, I don't, it's just so by the time gap. Anyway, so in the Saturn position, Saturn talks about, you know, making us responsible adults. Saturn is the taskmaster. Saturn makes people shiver when they know they have to deal with Saturn, if you know anything about Saturn. Uh, but, uh, you know, it makes us the authority. It makes us responsible adults. It can also be, you know, our obstacles, our restrictions, the things that hold us back. And we've got the Eight of Wands reversed. Pisces, I think what that is saying is that what has been holding you back is focusing your energies maybe to the, in, in, you know, in the wrong place. And these things may be causing some issues with your resources, with your finances, 
um, with what's going on in the home, even within, you know, uh, your relationships, you know, whatever this is, however, your energy has been directed up to this point. It could be what has caused you to feel like this Queen of Cups is getting away from you. And, you know, Pisces, I have to say that that may be because, you know, with this Devil card, rather than necessarily being focused on the needs of those around you, you know, maybe you have been focused a lot on yourself lately. Now, let me say this. It's kind of hard to have a problem with that when you're talking about Pisces because... You know, Pisces usually is so focused, you know, on the world at large and making it a better place. And because Pisces, you know, can be so self-sacrificing that, you know, self-preservation is a must. And sometimes we must look out for self. I think the thing about it is finding that balance, which is something that so many of us have trouble doing and Pisces you are the fish that are you know is swimming against each other you know you're trying to go in two different directions you're mutable signs so sometimes it can be hard um for you to find the balance and you know and, and, and for you not to blur the lines in your relationships in your dealings with people and With this Eight of Wands reversed, maybe it could be certainly about you needing to redirect your energies because this is what limits you right now. It may be time to try to find a little bit more balance. Uh, between what it is that you want and what you need and, you know, what it takes to make you feel good and comfortable because I feel like that there is somebody who is side-eyeing you. <laughs> you know, she's giving you the side-eye like, I mean, so what's up? But the Queen of Cups, so far as I'm concerned, is a young woman who is very loving and caring and you know she's she's creative and like i think she's magnetic and she can be hard to resist because she is like kind of mysterious and things like that but the reason that she is so mysterious the reason that she seems to be um somebody that you can't understand is because even though she's the queen of cups she's been through a lot and she's very suspicious now pisces this could be you but i'm feeling like this is somebody else you know and i feel like this is somebody who like i said that you've been you know that you've gotten on with for a while possibly off and on this is somebody that you've had good times with Dare I say this is somebody that you love and that loves you back, but, I, you know, I kind of feel like maybe this person is side-eyeing you now, and you may be feeling like that this person is falling from your grasp. So there may be some need to redirect your energies if this is a relationship that you want to save. Now, also... And like I said, the answers are coming to you. You will find how to. It will dawn on you. You're this guy. You're the page of, of, of swords. So you get this information. And I think that you will be ready to act on it. You'll figure out what it is that you need to do to save your relationship or to not misdirect your energies and your money. So the outcome card, simple enough. Oh, we got the temperance card, and this talks about balance. This talks about using your head. And this, you know, also, this is an angel. So, you know, 
I really, the lesson that you need to learn through all of this, the answers that you need to get, the balance that you need to achieve, You get it. You're going to ask, and I think this eclipse has a, a whole lot to do with that. Let me see. We've got um, two major arcana, uh, three court cards. Pisces, okay. Something else I see too. Uh, okay, Pisces. Uh, some of you, I'm feeling like may. Some of you, Pisces males, and yeah, and, and maybe not because this could be for same sex relationships as well. Um, mm, Pisces, maybe you have been dealing with a couple different. Young ladies, one possibly being this queen. And wait a minute, I think Aquarius had the queen of coins re reversed in their reading. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I don't know. That's odd. I was going to say something, but mm, that would be very far-fetched. But that's odd because I really think that both these cards came up for Aquarius and, and, and she was reversed. Anyway, I am feeling like Pisces that you may have been dealing with these two women. This Cancer, Scorpio, or another Pisces. But, like, this is the woman who, like, loves you and is best for you. But maybe you've been putting your energy towards this queen of coins reversed. And maybe she's not the best choice. And, and, and if I hadn't said already, this would be Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. And maybe you come to your senses. The information comes to you. You realize that maybe you have been putting your energies towards the wrong thing and the need to just kind of satisfy, uh, you know, for immediate self-gratification because, you know, the devil card is about immediate self-gratification. And so, you know, and maybe it is dawning on you and you're starting to come to your senses about who it is you really need to be with or what it is you really need to do.